Hi, I'm Natalie and we're here with Steve in the AI Solutions Lab. Steve, what's AI in Motion? So AI in Motion is a demo that shows how artificial intelligence can perceive the world, uh, make predictions about it, and then take action on those predictions. Awesome. Um, and so what we've actually got here is a demo showing these robot balls. They're made by a company called Spheros. Mm -hmm. um, and some of them are controlled by humans here playing the game. Yes. And some are controlled by AI. So uh, what we've got is an AI model that actually perceives the whole playing field okay. and uses object detection to identify where the balls are and where your obstacles are. Right. And then another model that uses reinforcement learning to basically set the strategy for the robots. Oh, that's really interesting. Yeah, it's been super fun. Tell me a little bit more about how people might go about learning more about what we're doing with machine learning. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I'd go to cloud.google.com slash machine learning. Um, you can look up TPUs. Yes. All these models were trained on TPUs. Mm -hmm. um, you can look up CloudML Engine, which was also a technology that was used. And then go to tensorflow.org to see how you can use TF Lite, TensorFlow yes. Lite, to deploy these models and shrink them down so they can run on a, a phone. Awesome. which is what these ones are doing. Yes. How can people learn a little bit more about AI in motion or what Google is doing in general in machine learning and artificial intelligence? Cool. Well, let's go check out the TPU booth. All right, let's do it. So TPU is a tensor processing unit. It's a chip for processing large amounts mm -hmm. of data for machine learning and other kinds of tasks. Awesome. Tell us a little bit more information about it. Yeah, so this is a TPU V3. Okay. And this is our third generation, which we announced today. It's available in alpha. Great. And it has 420 teraflops of processing power. Right. Quite impressive. Um, this one back here is our second generation of TPU. Okay. This one is actually generally available, and it's even available for free tier customers in Google Cloud awesome. with 180 teraflops of processing power. Amazing. Can, yeah. you, can you give us an example of a customer that might be using Sure. So eBay has used the TPU V2 to improve their image uh, recognition oh. by 100x. Steve, can you show me one more thing in this AI lab? Sure. Let's go take a look at AutoML. All right. Let's do it. Awesome. So here we are at the AI Building Blocks oh, yes. booth. Uh, and let's talk about AutoML. Yeah. So tell me about AutoML. So AutoML enables you to retrain models with your own custom data mm -hmm. without having to get into the guts of, of writing your own training loops. Awesome. You can do it using a UI. Mm -hmm. And here in the web is a UI. We're training a model to understand the difference between different types of clouds I see. appropriate for this conference. Yes, absolutely. Um, so you can upload your, uh, your basically your images uh, in batch. Inside of the web UI here, you can see statistics for how your model's performing. Mm -hmm. um, you can even resume training if you're not satisfied with the, the accuracy you're getting. Okay. Resume training and, and capture all of the value you've gotten so far and get even yeah. better accuracy. So you don't lose all your hard work. That's right, exactly. Yeah. Um, and then see the evaluations of your results. Um, and including down here, if I can scroll to it, a confusion matrix, which shows you false positives and false yes. negatives. And, and then ultimately host your model for prediction on the cloud. Awesome. I guess one of the really uh, interesting things about AutoML is just how easy it is to actually get started with with machine learning. It's typically quite a high barrier to entry to say, how can I get started with machine learning? Yeah, we've always loved the usability of the ML APIs. Yes. We've had them for 18 months or so. Mm -hmm. But AutoML enables those same APIs to be just as easy to use, but now customizable to exactly what your business needs. Yeah, awesome. Well, thanks so much, Steve. Really Absolutely. appreciate your help. Thank this you. has been one of my favorite um, installations. So thank you. Thanks, thanks for Natalie. joining us.